Welcome everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to do arithmetic in the complex numbers, meaning how to add, subtract, multiply and most difficultly how to divide complex numbers. We'll start with a simple example. Given our two complex numbers, z is 2 plus 5i and w is 4 minus 2i. Remember, this is just another form of how to write these two-dimensional vectors because complex numbers after all are nothing but two-dimensional vectors but this Cartesian form is much more convenient when doing calculations especially multiplication and division. So the sum of these two complex numbers is very easy to obtain because you simply have to add the real parts and the imaginary parts and that's all. So adding the real parts you get 6, adding the imaginary parts 5 minus 2 you get 3i and this is it, that's the sum. So to build the difference you take the number z and sub subtract the number w and here you have to be careful if you pull the minus sign inside then you get minus 4 minus minus 2i, so plus 2i. All the way through these calculations we're assuming that the usual rules for addition and multiplications hold. We're going to verify these a little later when we talk about the field structure of the complex numbers, but for now you just have to remember that you can calculate with complex numbers using the same rules as in the real numbers. So this is So as I said here you have to be careful this is plus 2i and then you simply take 2 minus 4 which is minus 2 and 5 plus 2 which is 7 and then you have the difference of the two complex numbers. Given the same two complex numbers as above, we want to find the product and the quotient. Here we are assuming that the distributive law holds, so we can just multiply as we are used. So I take 2 times 4 minus 2 times 2i plus 5i times 4, which I write using commutativity as 4 times 5i minus 5 times, times 2 times i squared. Then, of course, this is the most important property of i, i squared is minus 1. So here we get minus 10 times minus 1 equals plus 10. Here we have 8, so this is 18. The real part of the product is 18. For the imaginary part, we have to take minus 4 plus 20. So the product in Cartesian form is 18 plus 16i. So now for the most difficult part, the quotient of two complex numbers. z divided by w. We have this expression. And now we want to write this expression again in Cartesian standard form. So we want to express this quotient, this fraction, as some real number plus some other real number times i. And this is not obvious how to do that. And here I have to show you the trick how it's done. So we're multiplying this fraction with the number 1. This of course is legal and now the trick is to write the number 1 in a clever fashion. We take the denominator and change the sign here. So instead of 4 minus 2i, I write 4 plus 2i and because 
This is just a fancy way of writing the number one. I have to do the same in the numerator. And now using the distributive law, I just multiply. Please pause the video now and do this on your own. Okay, you should have arrived at this expression. Here simply multiplying out. And then in the next step, we're gonna use that i squared is minus one. And in the denominator, something very interesting happens. Using the third binomial formula, we get this is four squared minus two i squared. Remember? This is the third binomial law or formula, or however you want to call it. A minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared. This is what we're using here. And here a and b should not be confused with the real and imaginary parts. So and here again we use that i squared is going to be minus 1. So we have a plus sign here. And we get 8 minus 10 is minus 2, 4 plus 20 is 24i. And now the magic happens. Here we have 16 plus 4. And now the i is gone. This is why we did this in the first place. Now we have cleared away the imaginary parts, the imaginary expressions in the denominator and simply have a real number. And this can be simplified. This is minus 2 plus 24i divided by 20. And this I can write as minus 2 divided by 20, which is minus, minus 1 tenth. Plus 24 divided by 20 is... So this would be the quotient in Cartesian form. If you prefer, you can, of course, use decimal expressions. So this is minus 0 0.1 plus 1.2i. This is how you divide complex numbers. So another example to get acquainted with this trick, we, are one of, we want to find the multiplicative inverse of the complex number 1 plus i. You can write it like that or like that, whichever way you prefer. This here is better for the same trick as we used before. I multiply this number with the number 1, written fancily as 1 minus i over 1 minus i. Yeah, I changed the sign here. And now again, using the third binomial formula, this here gives me 1 squared minus i squared, which is plus 1. So this is nothing but 1 minus i over 2, or if I separate in real and imaginary part, the multiplicative inverse of this number is 1 half minus 1 half times i. Please check that this is true by multiplying this expression with 1 plus i. Of course you have to get 1. You should pause the video and do that now. So, using this trick, we find the following useful and general formula. If I have a complex number that is not zero, always we assume when I write down this form that a and b are real numbers, but still I should put it there in parentheses. Every complex number that is not zero has a multiplicative inverse. In other words, I can build this fraction one over the complex number. And here it is. It is a minus bi divided by a square plus b square. And if this number is not zero, then at least one of those a or b is not zero. And then the denominator cannot be zero. So this number exists. And if I split this up in real and imaginary part, I get this. You could either remember this formula or you could always use this trick. Depends on what you prefer.
So to prove this, either I can do a straightforward calculation. I multiply this alleged inverse with the number itself. And if in the end I get 1, then this was correct. So using the rules of fractions that we know from the real numbers, I can just multiply this number with the numerator using the third binomial formula. This gives me a squared minus bi squared, but then this is b squared times i squared. i squared is minus 1, so this changes this minus sign into a plus. So this is a squared plus b squared over a squared plus b squared. This is 1 and we're done. Using the commutative law, this of course holds the other way around. Another way to prove this is to actually do the same trick as we did before. So I multiply this fraction with this fraction where I've changed the sign here. And this gives me, again using the third binomial formula, this expression as we have just seen, this is nothing but a squared plus b squared. And this proof has the advantage that you actually see where this formula comes from. So I would prefer this proof. So to conclude this video, we're going to do some simple, mostly simple exercises. Please give it a try yourself. First, pause the video and try to do these exercises on your own. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, this should have been not too hard. Simply using the distributive law, you get 17 minus 17i. Again, using that here, minus, oh, I'm sorry, minus 3i times minus i equals plus 3i squared. i squared is minus 1, so here we have 20 minus 3. Here, for this expression, for this square, you could either write it as 8 plus 6i times 8 plus 6i, or you simply use the first binomial formula, because as I said, we have the same rules as in the real numbers. So this is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which means here 8 squared plus 6i squared is minus 36. So we have 64 minus 36 is 28. And here we have 2 times 8 times 6 which is 96, do not forget the i. So this is this square. Now for the inverse of the imaginary unit, you simply, there are two ways. Either you write the one as minus i over minus i, because this is zero plus one times i, so you have to change the sign here then you will get minus i divided by minus i squared. i squared is minus 1, so this is 1. And the inverse is minus i, or you could just have left the minus sign out and multiply with i over i would give you the same result. This is something you should remember. The inverse of i is minus i. Now this fraction here, We're multiplying with 2 plus i. So in the denominator we have 2 squared plus 1 squared minus i squared is 1 or 1 times 1 is 1 squared, whichever you prefer. And then in the numerator you have to use the distributive law. This gives you 16 plus 8i plus 10i minus 5. Here I use that 5i squared is minus 5. So this is 11 plus 18i over 5.
And here's the Cartesian form of this fraction. And if you want to transform this into a decimal number, this would be 2.2 and this would be 3.6. Now the last one is tricky. I'm omitting some exercises. Please refer to my book if you want to do the whole set of exercises. 1 plus i to the 10th power. Of course, you could use the binomial theorem, which would give you a lot of messy expressions. But here, there's a trick because if you don't see this trick, this is a really hard exercise. If you take 1 plus i squared, this is 1 squared plus 2i minus i plus i squared, which means minus 1. So the ones cancel and the square of this number is simply 2i. And now the trick is you write this as 1 plus i squared to the fifth power. Now this is the same expression, but here you see that this guy, 1 plus i squared, is simply 2i. So this is 2i to the fifth power. 2 to the fifth power is 32. And we are left with i to the fifth power. Now i is this complex number. i squared is minus 1. i to the third power is minus i. i to the fourth power is 1. And i to the fifth power is i again. Or if you wish, you could write it as i to the fifth power is i squared times i squared times i. i squared is minus 1. minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So you have this result. So this is a little bit tricky if you don't see the, this mean trick here. So final exercise. You're given a complex number that is not zero, a and b, the real and imaginary parts of this number. And you have to find the real and imaginary parts of these guys, 1 over z squared. Okay, to find this, we have to transform this expression into standard Cartesian form. So something plus something else times i. Some things are real numbers. There's a hard way to do it and an easier way. The easier way is to write this like that. And then transform this into standard Cartesian form. And this we already know how to do. So I would advise you to do it like that. Not calculate the square in the denominator and then try to do this trick, but rather like that, because then then it reduces to squaring two complex numbers. This is not so hard. Okay, this is what I did here. The numerator squared using the second binomial formula is a squared minus 2abi plus bi. Expression squared, bi squared is minus b squared. So I have here a squared minus b squared minus 2abi. And the denominator is a squared plus b squared squared. And I wouldn't simplify this or try to use the binomial expansion in the denominator, just leave it like that. And then you can separate it into the real part, that's this guy here, and the imaginary part, this, that's this guy here, including the minus sign, but not including the i. Those are two real numbers. That's it. Okay, this was a little arithmetic in the complex numbers. In the next video, we're gonna learn about complex conjugation and the absolute value of a complex number. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.